Hello, 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 everyone. I'm a little late. It's 7.09. Um, I was trying to wait for a moment where my computer was not making, um, like, a shit ton of noise. Um, and it's, this is the quietest moment it's been, and I'm sure you can still hear it in the background. Um, I am getting extremely tired of it already. It's been, it's been like a minute, um, that it's been going. I've, I've been sitting here since maybe 7.03, waiting for it to stop making noise, um, and it just has not. So, welcome on in. <laughs> That's the vibes this morning. Um... I'm ready for some Minecraft. I don't really want to play The Sims right now. I don't want to control seven Sims. Um, and I definitely don't have the energy to build a whole house. So we're just going to vibe around in Minecraft. I went and played off stream a little bit. And I have nine whole diamond ore uh, that I have gathered from the caves. I'm risking my life each time. Um, and I got a fortune pickaxe. And I think that's what we're going to get into first, is probably uh, breaking into them diamonds and seeing how many we got, and how many more we really need. Because at this point, I think I have full diamond. I think I might be set on that. And then I also explored the nether a little bit, and I know which direction to find another biome. Which is great. Um... And it actually was kind of close to our nether portal. I just went the wrong way. So. <laughs> I want to kill my computer. Is this boring? Because when I can hear it through my headphones, it must be terrible for you guys. So I'm sorry about that. And it always goes when it's like, when I'm doing something. Yesterday I was trying to film TikToks. And it just started doing this. And I was like... I can't do that. I can't have that. <laughs> it's terrible. I wish I could lower the volume. But that's just not how um, it works. Um, I also moved my nether portal over here. Because if it's just going to be that same spot that I go to... I may as well have the nether portal close to my house. <laughs> we go, finally, the fan calmed down. It only took ten full minutes of the computer being on. That's not bad at all. Um, okay, so first things first. I actually remember that I turned down some of the sounds here. Did I turn down everything? Or is my headphones? Okay, no. Just my headphones were low. Um. Right, well, first things first. Let's grab the diamonds and the diamond ore. Morning, Theo. Welcome on in. How you doing? We're going to break into some diamonds that I gathered off camera. Yeah, off camera, <laughs> not even off camera, but like I risked my life for these. <laughs> I it was funny. I wish I had been recording actually when I when I did it because it was insane that I survived this. But a creeper or two creepers and a skeleton were coming at me and it was dark and my shield broke right before the creeper in front of me exploded because the skeleton shot it. And so I had to, like, book it backwards, and I still got hit by the explosion. The explosion didn't kill the other creeper, and the other creeper kept coming at me, too. And I still, like, without a shield, survived it all. <laughs> it was very impressive. Um, let's see how many diamonds we got. I have Fortune 2 on this pickaxe. 16 from 9 diamond ore. Not terrible, not terrible. Yeah, it was scary. Because <laughs> I also, I think, if I remember correctly, I was on, like, the edge of a deep dark biome, too. Like, I could see that there was a deep dark biome bi nearby, and I was just like, this is turning all sorts of bad right now. <laughs> but also, in that vicinity, I found, 
I think it was four separate patches of diamond. Some of them only had one block in them, but I was just like, holy shit, like, what is going on in this corner of the underworld? <laughs> it was very, very silly. That can go in there, and now I've got 25 diamonds, which is... 8, 15, 20, 24. That's full diamond and a diamond shovel. That's not terrible. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe not the diamond shovel. I can hold on to the one diamond just for, for, for having it. But <laughs> full diamond seems like a good idea. Um, we're not going to use it quite yet. I need more levels and stuff. Which I guess the next place to go is kind of the nether. Because I know where I'm going in the nether now. I, I did a lot of off-camera stuff. <laughs> but it's all for the benefit of, of the on-screen time being more... Um, oh, fuck. I forgot that I didn't protect the right one. <laughs> but we do have shelter in the nether here now. Get fucking tracked. Oh, never mind. I'm the one getting tracked. <laughs> 1 p.m. and you just woke up. I'm jealous. I definitely wanted to sleep more today. Um, but I don't have that luxury. I have to go to work. Nope. Oh, get out of my face. I ain't even worried about the soul sand biome today. That's not what we're here for. We're here because over this way, there is a... Well, I found two things, actually. One of them is less exciting to me because I don't think I'm ready for it. But I did find um, not only the other biome, so we can finally stop walking on soul sand and start walking in a crimson forest. Um, but I did find a bastion. I don't think I'm ready for a bastion. Um, I think I would die severely. But we have the option. It is over there. It's that thing right there. I think I'm just going to head to the Red Forest over here. Which does involve bridging out over the nether, which is a time, always. Especially with a ghast in the visible distance. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. The conditions are perfect. <laughs> Let's go. I don't need the bone blocks just yet. I don't really have anything that requires a lot of bone meal. Infinite food for golden potatoes. Golden potatoes? <laughs> I just go the steak route. I've already got a full stack of steak. Golden carrots. Well, I don't have a villager just yet. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Hold on a minute. You want to block my whole path just, as I, just after I got over here? Rude. There we go. 
do have to be careful though, because oh shit, because <laughs> of that. Hey, cozy, welcome on in, and Hibiki, welcome on in. How you guys doing this morning? Just craft them. I don't want to waste my gold on that. I only get so much gold. Oh, man. You know what, though? We do um, now have... A sleepy Friday for you? Oh, everybody's getting to sleep this morning but me. <laughs> no, I actually, this morning, got woken up by Charles. Um, doing his Charles thing. Whoa, whoa! And then, um... In my effort to slam the door in his face so that I did not have to deal with his meowing, I shattered my drinking glass that was on my <laughs> on my nightstand and had to clean that up uh, at like 4 a.m. So <laughs> that was my morning. That was how I woke up. I did go back to sleep for a little bit after, um, but I'm still like walking on eggshells around here in case there's, like, glass shards in my room. Um, <laughs> it was also full, so that was, that was like, a really fun cleanup as well. Yeah, it was not the best morning. <laughs> I hope it's not indicative of the day. Who, who really can tell? Who can never be sure, as one of my favorite shows would say. Um, it's certainly not me. <laughs> the rest of the morning's been alright. It's been an okay morning so far. But the start was it's definitely a little rough. <laughs> I'm glad everybody else is getting to sleep, though. It seems like it's been just like a really long week. Maybe that one's just me, but... Get out of my face. Wow, so this nether just kind of fucking sucks. <laughs> the nether in general does, but... You went to bed at 6. Oh my god. Wait, 6 a.m. or p.m.? A.m.? You gotta be, have a better sleep schedule than that. You were doing so good for so long. <laughs> Distract. What? Oh, I'm about to get tracked. Ah! Oh my god, I hate these things. <laughs> Playing Minecraft and watching the VOD. Well, I appreciate that, but get some sleep. <laughs> oh my god, and there's like five of them over there. This is such a dangerous place right now. Give me my warp shroom. Run, you beasts. Ah! So that doesn't kick in right away. Good to know, good to know. They don't like it. You don't know that? Yeah, they don't like the blue fire. They don't like the, the mushroom. They don't like the blue anything. It freaks them out. It's my only salvation right now. <laughs> um, I don't even think, you know, I have a crossbow, I guess. I can, I can... 
maybe lure one of them at a time. No, you know what I can do? I can do the smart thing. Is there bucketable lava right now nearby? Yeah, we can get down there. I'm sorry, water, you will be missed. I need some hot stuff. Need some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Hot stuff, baby, tonight. Not today, my voice said. <laughs> <coughs> okay. I might have to sacrifice my, my warped shroom to do this. Hitting those high notes. Oh yeah, beautifully I would I would add. <laughs> Alright, come on everybody. You can come over here now. There's no, there is no blue f fungus. Well, now that there's not interested. Okay, we do the dangerous. We got just the baby. Hello. They don't even care. All right, well. Get lava on. Get lava on. Oh, you know what? Ooh. I was going to say from there we can really just hop on to there, but we could not. Wow, this place is really not um, user friendly right now. We came in that way. You're hungry, go get food. <laughs> <laughs> if you just woke up, go get food. Whoa, okay. Maybe don't go up that direction. <laughs> There's something about the nether. It's like six miles to the kitchen. Uh, just starve on the journey, I guess, then. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the time will pass anyway, you know? <laughs> I would rather pass it on the way to the kitchen um, than starving and just, like, doing nothing about it. But maybe that's just me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Six steps, yeah, that's that sounds more accurate. <laughs> um I guess we'll take the gold as well. Cause I don't know if we're gonna wind up finding another fortress while I'm in here. Gate well yeah, ask a gay person. <laughs> You're gonna get a gay answer. Um, yeah, let's let's just um keep it moving. I'll grab some brown shrooms while I'm here. And I should maybe um, 
like point my way back with the the torches that I brought. A week till your boyfriend's there? Heck yeah. That also means like it's a week till your birthday, right? You said it was the twenty something. I don't remember anybody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> My brain hears the information and goes, nice. And then that's it. It does not it does not store it anywhere. It doesn't do anything with it. It's it just says, Oh, that's nice for you. <laughs> the thirteenth. Okay. Yeah. See <laughs> Ask me again in like half an hour, I probably still won't remember. <laughs> it's not just you though, I swear. I have to like think hard to remember my mom's birthday and every once in a while I gotta I gotta think to remember mine. <laughs> it's just a me thing. <laughs> oh, that was cheap. Get fucking Shrek. No gassed tears, though. Unless. No. Beer back, no worries. The 14th is when he's coming over. Noise. Ooh, I can get some magma cream while I'm here. Um, and I think at that point I should probably just head back because I do not see much else going on for me over here. And I will take some time to strengthen this out as well. Too wide makes me feel a little better about it, you know? Uh, not when I hear that, though. Okay. We're safe. We're good. Our bridge didn't even get destroyed. And I will take some of these. Why not? I just haven't cared to take too many of them, because, honestly, I like leaving the bones. They look nice. They give a little bit of um, structure to an otherwise unstructured place. But we can take some bones. That's not the end of the world. Back to the overworld. Nether fortress less and disappointed. Ooh. I will, however, also take some time to, um, while there are no ghasts over here, take care of over here a little bit. Wow. Stop being on fire, thank you. I'm Gonzo. 
We have a little bit of protection now when we go through, though. <laughs> we have at least one side where gas can't see us the second that we enter the nether. <laughs> and I think if I've got enough... Oh, we certainly have enough to cook here. Let's take the coal out for a minute. Turn some of this into copper. And smelt up some copper. Well, I've got the chance to. And we need a new box for nether stuff. Um... Here. Nether stuff includes a lot of stuff, so I guess it, it, it's only right to make it in here. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should be making my own uh, golden carrots. I have a lot of gold. But that's also how I could get ender pearls. And, um, oh, you know what? Fire resist potions, too. Yeah, you know what? Let's save the gold. Golden carrots are expensive to make. Okay. Oh, I have a lot of food still. Hold on a minute. Let's put 40 of that back. And we got our first melon! Which is great, because I can actually turn one of that into melon seeds, and we can actually get our, our the rest of our melons ready, you know? We can have our melon farm be fully functional. And you know what? I have the bone meal to make that even more possible. There we go. Pop all the food and stuff away. I need the water still, thanks. Water is something you keep on me all the time. <laughs> it's, I feel like, one of the most useful things to have on you at any given time in Minecraft. Like, weapons and stuff is good, but if you have water, you can get away, you can get up, you can cross lava. It don't matter. There's things. Zombie groans. Where is there a zombie groaning? Also, do I have carrots? I don't have carrots. Maybe I should travel to, like, a village or something. I guess, yeah. You know what? I have an hour and a half. Let's do some exploring. I think my boat's down there, actually. You know what, though? Let me just in case... Make a new helmet. And make a new sword. And we can leave these two here. Just because I want to feel prepared while I'm going out. Sharpness 4. On an iron sword? Alright. Now let's go. I think I'm going to go that way, just like straight forward. And good, my boat is still here. My rosewood boat. There 
Yeah, I think we're going to have to go over this mountain because I think the water ends right over here. But that's fine. I'm taking my boat with me, though. Because you never know when you're going to need a boat again. Let me up. Okay, what can we see from up here? We can hear skeletons. Oh! The first place I went to is a village. Beautiful. <laughs> I could not have planned that better. Let's steal every single thing they have in this village. And maybe, maybe uh, lock a couple villagers in their houses for their sa own safety. You're a cleric. That's perfect. Um, I need dirt. All right. Perfect. For your own good, my guy. Wait, it's lit up in there, right? I think it is. Just in case it's not. There we go. Nothing spawning in there for you, my guy. Bread, books, apples, thank you. I don't really care about the other things. Just casually throwing a torch into the house, you know. For his safety. For his safety. <laughs> things don't catch fire from torches in this game, which is incredibly lucky for us. Making pasta carbonara, ooh. I haven't even had breakfast yet. These days my breakfast has been um, this like chicken and rice dish that we have at my job. It's pretty good. Your fave. Now everything in this whole game would be on fire all of the time if torches caught things on fire. <laughs> We're very lucky that they don't. You can have a torch here. And then um, you can get locked in. There's a cat somewhere I just heard. Apple. Brid. Potato. Still no carrots, though. Oh, you know what, though? I did not check the, the garden that I went past, <laughs> which is where you would find the, the carrots, probably. I did, however, see the cat. Little kitty. I love you. I don't have fish for you right now, but that's fine. I'll come back. Ooh. We got potatoes, but I don't think we got carrots in here. Oh! Just kidding. Sorry to, like, ruin all your hard work, my guy, but I just want, like, a couple of carrots. I'll, I'll plant everything back down, though. Just for you. Look at that. It's like I was never even here.
just because I was thinking in the village we could do some of those like um in my village not this village um tiered farms just for decoration not even ones that I like use but just like to look good to look nice I've been thinking about, because I want this to be a long time world, how I want to build the town, of course. Because you want me to have a Minecraft world and not make my, my main base like several small buildings that create the image of a small town? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's just how I build. That's just how I do. Eggs. Oh my goodness. Look at that cave over there. That's ridiculous. I know. I know. I would say well, even. I feel like it's been pretty balanced between the two. Morning, Nebula Bonsai. Just Java Vanilla, yeah. I'm doing some uh, exploring right now in my my new long-term world. It's not hardcore. I would have I would have lost long ago if it was, but <laughs> uh, it is long-term. I'm going to keep it. How you doing this morning? Welcome on in. Currently ransacking a village, trying to lock people in their houses and stuff. You know, <laughs> usual Minecraft things. All this wheat means that I don't actually have to tend to the farm that I made at my house, which is nice. I can I can just let it grow and then keep it there. Oh. No villagers over here, though. I'll pass on the leather armor, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let me go ring this bell and trap a couple more villagers, and then we'll head right on back. Because I really only came over here for, like, carrots and, and maybe the possibility of villagers, but I don't think I got the resources to be trading things just yet. Everybody go home. Thank you. Where are you off to? Where are you speeding off to? Beautiful. You two live together now. Um, you can stay outside because you're a nitwit. You're of no use to me. Panda, welcome on in. How you doing this evening? This evening. You know what? This time I do have an excuse. I was thinking it's becoming night. I need to think. I need to sleep in Minecraft while I was trying to say good morning. <laughs> this time, this time I have an excuse. It's not a broken brain. <laughs> I know. But listen, it's you know we'll we'll save him too. But he is useless to me. That's not even me being mean. That's me being factual. <laughs> Me being mean would be saying he's ugly as well, which he's not. He's just useless. <laughs> and that's okay. I didn't say being useless was a bad thing. It just doesn't guarantee your safety from me. <laughs> or more, more accurately, your safety from mobs while I am in the village uh, getting use from the people who I did save. <laughs> I'm doing alright. I'm glad it's Friday, although it's kind of hard to believe it's already Friday. I think this is the right direction. I don't actually know. Hold on a minute. No, it's this way. Yeah.
I know directions. I don't get lost. Yeah. An anime recommendation? Heck yeah. I'm so excited Jujutsu Kaisen started yesterday. And apparently this season is going to be six months long. It's going to carry all the way into December. And I've been really excited for this arc for a really long time because a lot of stuff is going to happen. <laughs> Oshinoka. Hmm. I'll have to look in. Let me write that down. If I can find a pen. Uh huh. What's that? Uh, what's it about? Hello. Hello. I am stuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> It's pretty good. I like the new theme a lot, too. Mappa's animation every once in a while bothers me. It's not, like, my favorite stu animation studio in the world, but it was well animated. Just, like, sometimes they make weird choices, I feel like. <laughs> it's true. It's true. When the pen comes out, it means I'm looking to remember it for real. And I'm trying to, to do that more often these days. <laughs> Why do I have July 12th written down? I think for the shell challenge encrypted angel told me about. Okay. Yeah, no. A lot of these I actually did go back and and check. One of them just says order British candy. <laughs> no context, just do do it. I dare you. <laughs> Don't tell me you're walking around right now. Pure daylight, my guy. Okay, we have crops and stuff now. Oh my god, we have so much hay. Oh, okay, no worries. <laughs> I don't mind not being spoiled. From the two year anniversary, yeah, probably. <laughs> also, just a good note. In general, I think good life advice. <laughs> Buy some British candy, you know? You don't need any context behind that. <laughs> wow, this is still going? Holy cow. Okay, what was I coming back here for? Right, you know, I think I'm going to actually start on that tiered... Um, farm idea, maybe. So let's grab some potatoes and carrots and wheat seeds. Heck yeah, I have no expectations for anything ever. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not a very expectationsy person. <laughs> I think we're just going to do all the way up to the, um, oh, I love a catchy theme song. I will, f like, start watching an anime purely because I liked its theme song. It has happened before. And I'm sure it'll happen again. <laughs> um, yeah, I think just up to the edge, but not at the edge. Like this. Alright, well, let me grab more seeds. Now, 
Not that we need the more wheat at this point, but it's fine. I can get a little more wheat and not not be mad about it. Whatever. Uh, let me grab some fences now. And, of course, harvest the pumpkins. We can't let precious pumpkin time go to waste. This, that's how I'm eventually going to build my empire with those uh, with the farmer villagers. It's pumpkins and melons. That's it, baby. But you know what? I also need to be gaining levels so that I can... Um, eventually enchant all of the diamond gear that I have now. Cows, cows, more cows. Okay. What was I in here for now? Well, honestly, we can probably just use the rest of these wheat seeds. And fences, that's what I was in here for. I don't even know. Scratched up your hand. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. <coughs> Charles has been getting that way a lot lately. He caught me the other day, like, up and down this way on my wrist. And I was like, Charles, <laughs> no, I, I need that, please. <laughs> it was a moment where I was just like, whoa, whoa, dude, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> calm, calm it down, I'm just petting you. <laughs> On your finger, oof. On the finger is rough, though. Because that's like an area you use a lot, you know? Mm. Let me grab a dirt from somewhere. Let me grab more pink fence. Man, these pumpkins are growing like crazy already. He's playful, I love it. I love playing with Charles. He still, like, chases things like a kitten. He's got that, the mad energy. I want to get, like, a laser pointer for him, honestly, because I bet he would love that. Um, I think I want it to go all the way up to there. And then we'll have a second one up here. The zoomies. Oh, I love the zoomies. <laughs> it's always so funny to just hear just like... <laughs> as they run around the house. <laughs> you know, I guess we will just cut off right here. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock alarm. Shut up. All right, let's go get some sleep. Let's not build in the dark.
No creepers popping up on me. Thank you very much. I can always tell when I've had coffee and nothing else to, to eat or drink that morning. My stomach is not happy about it. <laughs> but I'll have breakfast soon, don't worry. That was half to you guys, don't worry, and half to my stomach, don't worry. This hoe is going to break any second now. Heck yeah! All the packs! I'll get there eventually. Oh, oh that's lame of it. I had two more spaces left to hoe. Brutal. I might actually need a block there. Because I guess this one's going to start like this. And we'll need it to continue all the way across here. What's the, uh, what's the first thing you're going to build with all the packs, Panda? All... I just accidentally got rid of my melon. Oh, yeah. Now that you've got all the stuff, the gameplay will be fun for you. You can get abducted by aliens. <laughs> Every girl's dream. <laughs> Um, oh, that's what I was here for. So many awe. My headphones are doing the stupid turn off thing every 27 minutes again. They do it sometimes and then they don't do it sometimes. I don't know what's up with all of my technology lately. But like my, my computer's not doing the fan thing. It just does it sometimes. My headphones is doing the turning off every 27 minute thing. It does it sometimes. Like, I don't change the settings on any of this stuff. I never change any of it. <laughs> the settings on my fan volume, you know? Um, <laughs> but I hate it. I hate that it's like this. Twenty-four isn't gonna be enough. We need a little more sticks. Thirty-nine might be enough. And then I need um, an iron hoe. Because the wooden one's gonna break on me for sure. Oops. Also, yeah, I guess I need a way into here, huh? So let's do that. And just have it here, I guess. I am, however, going to use carrots up here. Which means we need to bone meal them a little bit. Get some extra carrots. Which is good that I... Uh, got those bone blocks then, I guess. In the nether box. Yeah, I'd like to pretend it's autumn right now, too, honestly. 
It's too hot out. I don't want it. <laughs> Although, I wish candles smelled like something for me, you know? <laughs> it is a bummer that it is just, like, hot wax to me. Like, I don't often really get bummed out by not being able to smell things. Like, it's just kind of a part of my world at this point. Like, I don't, you know, I don't get sad about the things that are. <laughs> but every here and there, like, candles, like, body lotion and stuff like that, that's where I'm like, oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, like I said, it's not really a big deal most of the time. It is funny to me, though, that it is, like, like, Toph from The Last Airbender that people just, like, constantly forget it. <laughs> like, I can't even be mad because I forget it sometimes. People will mention the smell of things and I'm just like, oh yeah, like, I guess that's a thing that people are constantly, um, noticing and realizing, huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I don't think I can properly imagine what a, what a smell feels like because I don't have like try to like if you couldn't touch how how would you describe the feeling of a touch to another person you know when people have tried to describe smells to me the closest that they can get it like the most accurate thing is like um there's an ice cream shop near me that has lavender ice cream and it is delicious uh and people say that it tastes exactly how lavender smells so the closest they can do is like relate it to a taste and then I can take that and be like that, but in my nose? That's the closest I can get to really, like, imagining uh, a smell. And even then, I still don't know what it means to, like, feel something with my nose like that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The closest I think I've ever been able to be to smelling something, um, to actually, like, having a sense of something in my nose um, was back when I used to work at Dunkin'. There's a brand of like fake sugar called Equal. And for whatever reason, every time I opened one of those packages, it would burn the inside of my, inside of my nose. It wasn't like a, like a scent. It, I didn't like, you know, it wasn't flavored or anything, but it, like in here, it would kind of feel, um, like, you know how mint kind of burns? Like, that type of burn. It was in my nose. Um, so that's the closest. But it was only for that one brand of sugar, and I don't think it's happened since. <laughs> mm. I could see that, yeah. You don't actually feel something with your nose. Mm. Interesting. It's just bizarre to me, because, like, I, for the longest time I didn't realize that I didn't have a sense of smell. People would just talk about smells around me, and I would just be like, oh, huh. Like, strange. I don't smell it. And then, like, eventually I, I put two and two together, and I was like, wait a minute. Like, other people talk about smells pretty often. It must be, like, a thing that they are constantly thinking about. I don't think about that. <laughs> I have never once thought about a smell. Um, there might be something wrong with my nose. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things, it's just like not doable. <laughs> you can you can sort of describe it and I can sort of be like, I, I can see it, I get what you mean. But there's no, like, there's no concrete, like, you can't say it feels like this, and I'm like, oh, yes! Like, it does not, 
compute. It doesn't translate. <laughs> Because I've had this conversation a lot, actually. It's, it's, people love trying to, like, tell me how a smell would be. And I love that. Because one day I would love to, I know that they have, like, for the, for blind people, like, the things that can, like, help you see again. For deaf people, they have things that can, like, help you hear. I want the nose receptors. Give me the nose machine that I put in my nose and it tells me how to smell. <laughs> Mr. Beast, help me out. I don't even like Mr. Beast, but if, if it means I can smell, hit me up. <laughs> Give me $10,000 for it. It's like they don't care about the sense of smell. It's true. People with congenital anosmia, you know, we're just really oppressed. <laughs> they just really don't care about us. We're second-class citizens. <laughs> What was I here for? Bone meal. No, it is kind of funny, though, that, like, every other sense, they're like, yeah, we have a way to, like, translate that and make it so you can feel it. But, like, as, as far as n nose blind people goes, not a thing. I don't even know if it's being worked on. <laughs> I know there's no cure for anosmia. Um... I do remember reading that at one point. Perfect. I kind of want to replace the dirt uh, in between them to make it look better, but I don't know what to do with it yet. Maybe maybe the deep slate? I know, no fundraisers for me. It's like the world does not even care about anosmia. It's not a, it's not a widely talked about enough issue for me. <laughs> Me trying to eat and instead opening and closing my door repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, I think let's go with Deep Slate. That's kind of the theme we've got going on for the rest of this so far. We may as well. <laughs> Have the government pay me for not being able to smell pumpkins in fall? That's certainly an idea. I wish it was possible. Uh, I don't think it is, though. <laughs> Much to my dismay, I think disability um, needs to hinder your ability to make money in order to be like claimed, and unfortunately, I can still make money just fine with no sense of smell. <laughs> Although, should I ever get hired as a smell consultant? That's when you know my life is going to turn around. <laughs> yeah, that that I have thought about. When I live alone, I am going to have to like be careful. Cuz I won't I can't smell fires when they've started, you know, like some people can smell like the smoke or whatever from a fire before it gets to them. Not going to be a thing for me. Um, carbon monoxide, even though you can't really smell that. I don't really have a sense of, of that. <laughs> and there was, like, another thing, too, that I remember at one point. Gas leaks or something like that. There was another reason I should be scared to live alone. <laughs> However, I also kind of want to live alone. <laughs> You know what? I definitely do not have enough deep slate to be doing this.
It's true. It is not my fault my nose doesn't work. I was born this way, like Lady Guagua said. As far as I know, at least. I don't remember ever having a sense of smell. I don't think I, like, had it and lost it, because then I would be able to, like, imagine what a smell feels like, I would, I would think. Um, but I just, I think I was born without it. Which is possible, I did look it up. Um, it adds, like, another word in front of congenital anosmia. It's a, it's a three-word condition, but I can only remember two words, so... <laughs> Was I here for a deep slate? I think we want one deep slate stare. And then unfortunately it looks like I'll have to go grab some deep slate if I want some. Man, the melon and pumpkin farm is already booming. We got, like, four melons and five pumpkins. But they're producing. They are spitting them out. A slime. This is a slime chunk? Right here? Interesting. Let me not die. Thank you. <laughs> Offer that boy some muffin. Why are you being rude? <laughs> I always offer Charl a, a bit of my food. I just called him Charl there. I de I de multipled him. He's just one Charl now. Charlemagne. One in 10,000 people. Yeah, I've met other people with anosmia, actually. I've met multiple other people with anosmia. One of the, I think, the coolest thing that's ever happened to me um, was when, in that short, brief time that I wanted to be a stand-up comedian and was actually performing. I had a joke about having congenital anosmia, and after I performed the second time I had ever performed, uh, a girl came up to me and she was like, hey, I just wanted to let you know, I also have congenital anosmia. And like when you made a joke with it, I was like, hell yeah, I feel seen. And because I had also seen her perform that night, I was just like, oh, my God, like, ah, so fucking cool. <laughs> and to this day, I think that's one of the like the coolest thing that's ever happened to me is like performing and then having someone come up afterwards and be like, hey, like, I also have this thing. I feel seen. Thank you. <laughs> Chocolate chip, yeah. I usually offer Charles it. I don't always let him eat it, is the thing. <laughs> Sometimes he'll want to take a bite, and I'm like, no, that's actually not for cats. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted you to smell it. <laughs> but I usually let him take a whiff. He's allowed. I can't, so someone's gotta, you know? <laughs> I'm having Charles sniff to make sure that my muffin isn't poisoned. Just over a stack of deep slate? I don't think that's quite enough yet. Actually, can cats have chocolate? I know dogs can't, but is chocolate poison to cats as well? I don't think so. But I, I mean, I, I bet it's not good for them. But Some chicken and some cheese. Oh, I love it. I've been getting um, string cheese a lot lately, and I've been giving my dog a little string of cheese every here and there. It is to them, too? Okay. Good to know. Okay, that's probably enough. For right now, at least.
There's a whole other side to this cave that we never explored. This cave keeps going. I keep thinking I've explored everything there is to explore in here, and then I keep going back down and finding, like, a whole new fucking wing. <laughs> Oh, the stick treats? I've seen those, yeah. Stormy, welcome on in. How you doing this e morning? I almost said evening. <laughs> There's no excuse for it this time. That's just me. Welcome on in. <laughs> Under house arrest? Ugh, no hallway for Filbert today. Mean of you, Cozy. Honestly. Denying that boy his birthright. <laughs> hallway time should be for everybody. Freeze one, yes, and ice pop. I don't get Charles those only because he goes so freaking crazy over these already. Like, I don't think I ever need to get him any other treats. He's obsessed with these. <laughs> I'm doing pretty all right. I'm not excited to go to work in an hour or so. I don't think I'm going to be all right at that point in my life. But right now, I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah... Charles is kind of the same way. I let him out on the porch with me every once in a while. And it's when I don't that it becomes a problem. Because he, like, knows that I'm out there and wants to be out there with me. He doesn't even want to go outside or anything. He just wants to be on the porch with me. But when I when I tell him no, because it's, like, too hot for cats outside, he whines and whines and whines. It's like, dude, this is for your own good. <laughs> you would absolutely overheat out here. A new job, oh my goodness. That's exciting. Although summer vacation being over is not. <laughs> I miss summer vacation. I wish we still got it as adults. Frankly, I think adults need it more than children. Not that children don't need it as well, but I think adults like <laughs> could benefit from a break of that long a little more. <laughs> One to nine. Ugh, oh, that's still brutal. I don't know how you do it, Panda. I mean, you live under capitalism is how you do it, but... <laughs> Teachers are lucky? Yeah. That's true. I've always wondered how they kind of make it through um, the summer money-wise, though, because they don't make enough money to, like, be putting that much aside, you know? No, I don't think I could ever be a teacher. They perform a service that is outside of the my capabilities of doing. <laughs> I don't think I could take care of one child every day for for forever. Um, never mind, like, 20 at a time. <laughs> and then also teach them things. No. No way. No way, no how. <laughs> yeah, don't have a choice, yeah. That is unfortunately the truth. part-time during the summer oh yeah i figured most of them probably have like a part-time gig that they that they move to in the summer um salary that's nice that's how it should be because if you're a teacher you should just get that time off like <laughs> preparing for the next year because you also have to prepare stuff outside of school as a teacher you know you have to spend time like at your own home making lesson plans and shit like that. So. Already to be a teacher, there's, like, extra time involved. You should get the time off. <laughs> yeah, they should get paid for the summer. Everyone should be paid enough to live... No stipulations, no no nothing. Everyone should be paid money enough to buy food, shelter, clothes, and water. Baseline. Everything else you should have to work a little more for, whatever, I guess. But, like, the basics you should get for free. I still stand by that. <laughs> there is enough to go around, we should let it go around, you know? Yeah, spreading out the salary over the year. I wonder if there's, like, an option for that for some for some teachers. If they, like, you know, get it 
lump sum all at once during during when you're working or if you can like spread it out because i feel like i've heard that before that some teachers say like yeah i chose to have it all year round so i didn't have to worry or like no i'm just good at budgeting so i i get it all at once and i make it last <laughs> yeah they put in all the fucking overtime and they spend their own money on supplies and shit too like that's why it always blows my mind that teachers aren't paid more because like that's one of the most demanding jobs, probably. <laughs> and also, one of the ones where you're gonna, like, get yelled at a lot, because people are very, like, ah, about their kids, you know? Like, you're going to have to deal with unruly parents as well at some point. <laughs> oh my god, no, I hate bi-weekly. Yeah, I used to be alright... Um, when I, like, didn't have, um, savings already at, like, putting some aside every week and not using all of my money all of the time. Because even my first job, what I would do is I would take half my paycheck and I would put it away and then the other half became my spending money for the, for the week of buying, like, snacks and stuff, whatever it was at the time. <laughs> More than likely at that point it was literally just snacks because I was... Seven? No, I was 18. I was 18, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that at one point, Panda. I don't... Again, I don't know how you do that, because I would just... I feel like I will get less anxiety knowing that I have money coming in, like, this week and then this week and then this week, you know? Like, I, I, if I was getting it monthly, I would probably know how to budget it better, but having never had to do that, like, that would... That would scare me. It would give me a little anxiety. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm okay at budgeting. I'm pretty good at it. Especially because I'm not a very, like, material, go out and buy things type of person. Like, I'll splurge every here and there and I'll buy myself a little treat. But I'm very much not, like, a online shopping addicted person or, like, any of that. Like, I buy my groceries... I buy my dragon fruit, um, and that's it. That's really all I buy. <laughs> so the rest of it can go to bills or whatever, whenever it needs to. Bills, savings, what have you. Oh my god. Panda's used to working with a large amounts of money all at once, I guess. <laughs> 30 days is a long time, though, yeah. I feel like I would just get overwhelmed thinking about it all the time. Not mi not necessarily, like, w the first time it happens, but I feel like over time that would be just a lot of budgeting and work to keep up with for me. I'm a very in-the-moment type of guy. I don't want to think about things until I absolutely have to. <laughs> You're a consumer, yeah. That's I got lucky in that I'm I'm really not. I'm not worried about goods and services. I'm just worried about having the internet, and that's it. <laughs> that is nice, yeah, having everything come out all at once, and then you're just like, all right, here's what I've got to work with, rather than having to, like, what will I have when that comes out, and then when this comes out? Like, that's nice. <laughs> um... What is the plan here? What's the vibes? That's coal? Oh my god, I didn't realize I had so much coal. Um, levels, I guess. pay the rent up front, yeah. It's been a while since I dealt with, like, apartment stuff. And I forgot how much I hate it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That person still hasn't gotten back to me about the apartment that I sent them an email about. So, I don't know. They they did say 
that it might take a couple of days, depending on how much, like, information you provided in your, your first email. So, maybe I just didn't provide enough and they're, like, processing. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. That's always been the argument, too, is, like, you... Um, the older generation is like, you took out loans, and you should know you're supposed to pay them back. But, like, yeah, well, you loaned, like, $10,000 to a 18-year-old who was fresh out of high school. Like, I... Which of us is more to blame here? <laughs> also, an 18-year-old that you told, like, you have to do this or else you will never get a job. Like, so, again, which of us is more to blame here? <laughs> oh my god, the first week? I can't even imagine. If I spend, like, $100 in a week on something, I'm like, oh my god, I have to never spend money ever again. <laughs> That's it. I'm going. I'm going into full savings mode. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe it was being raised poor. Maybe that's what it what did it for me. <laughs> Watch, watching my my single mother raise a, a two kids in a three bedroom apartment and like struggle to make that happen. Like maybe that's what did it for me. But some people I just can't. Like how do you spend? Ten thousand plus dollars in a week. In a week, <laughs> what are you spending it on? I don't think I could spend it in a month, unless it's like rent and like bills and stuff like that. <laughs> um. Yeah, that just kind of blows my mind. I don't remember the last time I spent more than $2,000 in a week, and that was fully when I bought my computer, which was $2,000. <laughs> I don't I don't know how other than like a big purchase like that you spend that amount of money. Um but I don't know. This is because I am not a material person in the end, I guess, you know. <laughs> There's just a fundamental difference between me and the average consumer. <laughs> oh. That's rough. They didn't even loan you enough. That's kind of silly. My um, financial aid ran out my last semester that I was at college, and I still had a semester to go. So the last one that I, I need, I would have to pay out of pocket for. Which, granted, I was going to community college. It wouldn't have put me into debt, but it, it would have been money, you know? Money you have to pay. Should I do this as potatoes as well, I guess? And just maybe cut it off over here? Nine grand a year for rent, bills, and food? Oh my god. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no thank you. I would, li I would like to not imagine that, please. <laughs> You know what? Yeah. Grab the potatoes. Grab the hoes. Well, the hoe. Grab the deep slate and some more fences. I'm going to have to chop down some wood soon. Twenty 
three is not going to be enough, but that's fine. Oof. Yeah, that's a long-ass time. I don't know how you made that panda. Because, like, I'm good at budgeting, and I still feel like that would be um, a challenge. <laughs> To say the least. Organizations like that, I'm just like, how do you not know the cost of, like, living? Like, isn't that kind of your job to find out at that point, you know? If, if, you're, if your job is to dole out money enough for a uh, person who is living at your school to, to live, shouldn't you know how much it costs? To live? <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe this is my um my brain, but <laughs> I feel like that's how it should be. Oh, fine, we'll get rid of these carrots. I didn't want to, but it's we'll do it. Oh, wait a minute. I'm replacing them with dirt when I should be replacing them with these. it off here. Maybe not with these ones. Maybe these can stay dirt. I don't think I have enough deep slate for this. I might, but who knows? Oh, uh, I don't know. Basing basing loans off of how much your parents make, that's not always the best system. Because there are people who don't, like, get any money from their parents. You know what I mean? And that includes rich people sometimes. Very less often, I will say, I'm not advocating for rich people's rights, because, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I just feel like there are situations where that is detrimental to the student. With the overdraft and working a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, unfortunately. Give me them taters. Yeah. It's really hard to to talk to rich people sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Like, talking to someone who was, who was brought up rich and has very obviously never had to struggle in their entire life, it, it's an experience very often. <laughs> and they'll say the most insane things to you, like they're not the most insane things you've ever heard in your whole life. With your pot noodle, oh my god, yeah. That's the other part, is if you're, if you are rich and you are friends with people who are not, and you are not, like, offering to pay every time you go out and shit like that, like, what are you doing? Like, there was a point where, um, Spider, 
didn't have a job and I would still hang out with her and I would just pay for both of our meals every time we went out because what am I going to do? Sit there and eat while she does nothing? No, I'm going to pay for her meal. Of course. <laughs> Not even have to think about it. Like, that's just how it goes. They're my friend. They're going to eat the same shit as me. The same quality as me. You know? <laughs> I don't know. It bothers me. Rich people in general bother me a fair amount, to be fair. Um... <laughs> Yeah, the 50-50 when you make $4 an hour, yeah. That type of person infuriates me. Because it's always like the rich friends who are like, you owe me like $2.61 for that iced coffee that I bought you. And the poor friends who are like, oh no, don't worry about it, it's two bucks. Like, it's whatever, you know? <laughs> it is always that way. It's It's ridiculous. Hey, can you pay me that one pound back? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just baffles me. Because you figure when you have more money like that, you would care less about it. Because that's how it's been for me. Like, if I have more money than someone very obviously, I'm offering to pay. I'm paying. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> like... And that's just so, like, second nature to me. That's never even, like, a thought that I've, like, stopped to consider and, like, oh, I should do this. It's just, like, that's how it is. If you don't have money, why would I make you pay? <laughs> I don't know. People are weird, though. It is night. Let me sleep. I want to sleep. There we go. Some big news. Ooh. Uh. Is there really such a thing as off topic in a Twitch chat? We ship topics like every five seconds. <laughs> There is definitely such a thing as a hot topic in Twitch. <laughs> Gonna go shoulder length. Ooh, that is cool. What's making you want to change the hair length? Just feel like it's time for a change? Or... Summer? The heat? More than likely. <laughs> I thought about that for longer than a second, and I was like, no, you know what? There are factors right now. Because <laughs> that's definitely my motivating factor in the summer to get a haircut, is uh, just the literal weight off of my head that comes from a haircut. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. You know what? I guess we don't need this one, though. This can be a carrot. Except I have no carrots on me. Okay, well, we'll come back and do that at some point. For now, we got our gardens planted. Yeah, time to just regrow it. That makes sense. Oh. I've never had, like, long, long hair like that. So I've never had to do long hair care. Um, but I imagine that it would be quite difficult to upkeep for a while. Um...
just a dirt block there because I feel like it. And then I also think we'll need a fence going around right here to stop me from walking off into the, the potato land. <laughs> I think you'll look good with, a, with like, are you going for, like, a, like, a bob or, like, a pixie cut or, like, what style you thinking? A bob, nice. Yeah, I think you'll look good with one. I could see it. Did I? I did not put down the one step. Okay. Perfect. I need more wood now, though. So I guess let's go chop down some cherry trees. I don't have forever left to keep streaming today, but we have time to chop down a couple of trees. Get a little uh, head start on doing things next time. Puts in a cool design, heck yeah. It's nice to have someone who you can trust with your hair. Because, like, I, I won't let just anyone cut my hair, really. I'm kind of picky about it. And the, the lady who cut my hair this time, I did not... I don't really love it when she cuts my hair. But I didn't really have a choice because I didn't make an appointment this time. I just went in. So it was kind of on me that I didn't get the lady who I usually have cut my hair. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely worth it for the trust. Because I gotta take a bus into the, the next town over to get my hair cut usually. But that's not super out of the way for me, admittedly. <laughs> This looks like it is like a triple tree. It's got like three trees connected into one. On an island. Oh. Used to go there before he and him moved house. Ah, interesting. Go to the island for a haircut. <laughs> you gotta, like, take a boat there and everything. That's nice, yeah. It's not just for the haircut. Because that sometimes it does feel silly going to the like town over, and making like a whole day of it for myself because bus travel takes a while, um, just to like get a haircut. So I usually like I make a day of it and I go and I do a little shopping. I have some ice cream at the, the ice cream parlor that's famous in the town. Like it, I you know, <laughs> I make it a thing. I don't just go for no reason, just for the haircut. No, I need something else. <laughs> Yeah. We love a good two hour long bus ride, but it's like a 20 minute car trip. <laughs> Classic public transportation. Because, yes, yeah, very similarly, it would take me maybe 20 minutes to drive to the next town over. It does take me like over an hour to get there by bus.
that's just how it is, you know? <laughs> they gotta make the stops every here and there, they gotta drive slowly because it's a large vehicle, like, I get it, but at the same time, like... Why? <laughs> Why? This place gets so many freaking pillagers. I don't I can't even deal with all of them. I just got to leave a couple of them alone. I should put a fence around this thing at some point. Jeez. Yeah, just take the bus. You'll get here. Uh, no, just come pick me up. <laughs> There's a boy who's had a crush on me since college. And I think I've talked about him on stream a couple of times before. He He's constantly messaging me. Um, but he wanted to hang out at one point. And he was, like, in the same town as me, even. Um, and I was in a public park that's nearby. And he was at, like, a restaurant with his family. And he was like, come see me. And I was like, I, dude, I would have to walk, like, five miles currently to get to you. It would take me at least a half an hour, if not longer. Um, you're the one with a car. Come to me. And he was like, yeah, but I, I'm the one asking you to hang out. Like, well, if you want me to get there, <laughs> you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to come to me, my guy. <laughs> There, there is a, a fact about me that I do not drive. <laughs> I didn't want to hang out with him anyway, so I wasn't disappointed, but I was just like, dude, like you're the one who wants to hang out here. You don't want to drive like a mile to come get to me? <laughs> I don't know. People are weird about coming to pick you up, I think. Why did I still need more fences? Right, for, for up there. I remember now. Thirty nine might be enough. Perfect. And I guess because we have it there, we'll have it on this side as well. Just to balance it out. Oh, two more? Are you kidding me? Brutal. Uh, but I think after I make these two fences and sleep for the night, I'm probably going to have to call it a stream, because I do have to start getting ready for work, unfortunately. Trust me, I would rather not. I would much rather not. Because um, Fridays are always stupid. I know. Frankly, homophobic of them to expect me to come in after Pride Month. Come on now. Not even during. After Pride Month? Come on. <laughs> I just worked all month being gay, and you want me to come in to work? I don't know about that. I don't know. It just, it feels, you know, pointed. It feels like it's only me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think on that note, that is where I will call it a day for right now. Um, I do think there should be a second stream later on. I don't know if it'll be Minecraft or Sims. It's kind of, these days it's kind of whatever I'm in the mood for <laughs> when I, when I sit down in this chair. Um, so we'll figure that out at a later date, but it should be, um, at six tonight. Because I don't get out till 4, so I can't do a 5 o'clock stream. Um, <laughs> I need I need a little time to myself in between. And I also 
might do my grocery shopping this evening, so I don't know if it'll be exactly at 6 either. I might wind up being a little late, um, depending on how that goes and functions and works. Um, for now, thank y'all for hanging. Thank y'all for chatting. I hope you have a lovely rest of the afternoon. Get some good relaxation in if you can. Um, until later on, guys. <laughs>